Amen. Stick with me. Stick with me. We're going we to we give them a roundhouse kick after a while. See, roundhouse kick. Anybody know anything about judo? You jump up and you turn around and you kick him as you go around and land back on your feet. Hallelujah. Talk about a roundhouse kick, Mother Donna. Hallelujah. My younger days, I can show you how to do that. <laughs> I used, I used to do judo and karate. See, y'all don't know. I know something about that stuff. Amen. But I, I can't do it now. <laughs> I don't even know if I can get off the floor real good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to give Satan a good roundhouse kick. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Y'all believe that? Amen. Amen. <laughs> James chapter 5. I'm going I'm to get back in shape and show you, brother. <laughs> See, yeah, y'all, y'all think because I'm old, older. Uh, I'm going I'm to show y'all, brothers. I used to, I, I used to be something else in my young days. <laughs> Hallelujah! Thank you, thank you, brother. You all right? <laughs> Jane, chapter five. You got it, verse. We're going to start at verse 13. Hallelujah. I want to preach to encourage y'all. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm, 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 I'm still meditating on the message from last Sunday. And, and, and the lady, see, the lady that came up, some of y'all, I told y'all, the lady that came up, came up and told me that the whole sermon, she felt like it was addressed strictly to her. Amen. She said, I had, she said, I've been praying and asking, Lord, what do I need to do about this man in my life? She said, God answered my question. I'm trying to show y'all. See, somebody walk in here off the street and God let them know you're in the right place. Will she ever come back? I don't know. But she always know when I showed up at that church, the man didn't know nothing about my life. So she know God talked directly to her. So she felt like no matter what nobody said, she walked out with an answer to her, to her concern. Yes, Hallelujah. She ain't talked to nobody but God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm trying to show y'all, y'all need to just trust in Jesus. Amen. And in the midst of helping her, he helped all of us. Thank you, Jesus. And I, I know what it feel like to walk in and feel like the sermon was designed just for me. Hallelujah. Because you know what you prayed. You know what you've been asking God. And then to walk in here off the street walk in I, I, I keep getting excited to walk in off the street and God answer your question so clear tell you all more put your name in the sermon listen that's something to get excited about that's why that's why she ran right up here to tell me you pastor you help me pastor you you do pastor I know what I'm doing I know what to do now pastor you, you, you talk directly to me hallelujah listen y'all ought to feel like that every Sunday because I do I feel like God come directly to me and help me to get me right. Amen. Because I got a question all the time. Lord, how do I do such and such? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And he's going to talk to us today. Come on. James chapter 5, verse 13. What does it say? Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing song. In other words, afflicted meaning, is there anybody got any problem? Then you need to talk to God and stop complaining. Amen. Hallelujah. God says, stop complaining. If something is going on and going wrong with you and interfering with you to do what I want you to do. He said, don't complain. You come and you pray. You come and you talk to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You don't have to go and voice it around to nobody but Jesus. Amen. Is any among you afflicted let him pray if you got a problem talk to God stop the complaining if you got a problem talk to God stop going around murmuring if you got a problem then you come and talk to Jesus hallelujah that's why we got all of these prayer times and prayer hours and prayer days for you to talk to God but instead you want to keep complaining we talking about the word of God God say if you got something that's bothering you I don't care if it's a sickness and I don't care if it's a disadvantage and I don't care what it is God said you come and you talk to me 
Amen. And if he didn't marry, let him sing song. Hallelujah. God said, if anybody got a problem and if you happy, you need to come and just sing to me. Hallelujah. If you just happy about getting money or getting saved, living holy, God said, sing, sing to me. Hallelujah. Show me your excitement by the, your voice. Show me that you excited. Sing some songs. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In other words, not song the way we come up with. He said, go to my word and turn no into some song. Turn no. Listen, because that's what they are anyway. God said, if you're really happy, oh, hallelujah. Get over there and read the book of Psalm and let the man see. Great is the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Lord shepherd. Hallelujah. Thank you. Blessed is the man that walks in the counsel of the ungodly. Hallelujah. In all my will I serve him. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He said, when I saw the prosperity, my feet almost slipped. Listen, all of those are songs. Hallelujah. God said, if you got a problem, go read the book of Psalms. If you got a problem, talk to me. Listen, when you're praying, you're talking to him. When you're singing songs, you're talking to him. God said, if you're happy or sad, come to me. If you're happy or sad, God say, come to me. If you're happy or sad, don't call your mama. God say, talk to me. God is if you're happy or sad, listen, don't complain. Talk to me. God is if you're happy or sad, don't run to the, the, the store and go shopping. Talk to me. God, oh, hallelujah. God is if you're happy or sad, don't go running around for looking for a hood. Talk to me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. 13 again. Is any among you afflicted? Talk to God. Is any among you married? Talk to God. Listen, we got to get to the point now. It's time. No matter what kind of condition no matter what's going through your mind you talk to God hallelujah no matter what's going on in your family and what's going on in your home talk to God no matter what's going on in your life and on your job talk to God hallelujah I don't care how much money you got you give God to pray I don't care how much money you have you give God to pray I don't care how broke you are you give God to pray oh hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah come on verse 14 what does it say is any sick let him call for the elders of the church and let him pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord hallelujah I want to go to Ephesians first keep something here thank you Jesus hallelujah, hallelujah. if you're happy if you're sad no matter what's going on in your life God say talk to me oh hallelujah he said if you're excited about something talk to me if you're sad about something talk to me oh hallelujah but we find other ways to go and enjoy our excitement we get money and we happy because God blessed us. God said you ought to be singing to me. Don't go out and spend it. Sing to me. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody gave you something. You ought to break out with a song praising God. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Bless the name of the Lord and all of his benefits. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great is the mercy of God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. So when somebody do something for you and you get excited, you ought to break out with a song. Hallelujah. You ought to break out and get the Bible. Say, so let me find a song that can help me praise God for what has just transpired in my life. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Chapter 5. Thank you, Lord. Verse 19. What does it say? He said, what? Verse 18. Let's start at verse 18. And be not drunk with wine, we're in excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit. In other words, God is saying it's time for y'all to get excited and do something for me. Don't you go out and party because you got something. Don't you go out and have fun because something happened to you. He said, come to me. Talk to me. Oh, hallelujah. I'm trying to show y'all today. Listen, let's stop finding other reasons to do things because God have blessed you. When God bless you, give God the glory. When God done something for you, give God the glory. When God have provided you with something, don't go around trying to have a party. Hallelujah. When you're happy on your birthday, God said, give me the glory. Hallelujah. Don't go out and try to have fun. God said, come and give me some fun. Hallelujah. Bring your fun to the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why he said, if any of you marry and happen, don't go out and get drunk. Don't throw a party. Hallelujah. Go to church. Hallelujah. If any of you are happy about something because I bless you, he said, come and talk to me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Come on. Verse 18 again. He said, and be not 
Be not drunk where in in excess. Be ye filled with the spirit. Speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Singing and making melody in your heart. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said, when you're happy, God said, come and let me have some fun with you. Oh, hallelujah. I don't think y'all get it, but you will before the morning. Oh, God said, when something good happened to you, when something exciting happened to you, he said, come and let me dance with you. Think that's what he said? Come and, and speak him to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Let me know that you're happy about what I did. Don't tell everybody else. Tell me first. Hallelujah. Don't run around and broadcast it over the streets and the internet. God said, come and let me rejoice with you first. Come and tell me how excited you are about being saved. Come and tell me how excited you are because you feel good in your spirit. Come and tell me how excited you are after fasting and you found out how nasty you were and you want to fix it. God said, come and talk to me. Tell me all about it. I I want to be the first to know how you feel about what's going on in your life. I want to be the first. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Speaking to yourself in song and hymns and spiritual song, singing and making melody in your heart. I, I, I love that song by, by one of the whining. He said, for no special reason, I just want you to know for no special reason he said it, 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 and, and the name of the word is this song because i ain't got no name for it all i want to do is let you know lord i just want you to know i love you for no special reason hallelujah i just thought oh my lord i just thought you ought to know i love you hallelujah so i'm writing this song because i ain't got no special reason i'm not writing this song but for one thing i'm not writing this song hallelujah to tell you how much you did i'm not writing this song asking you for nothing I'm just writing this song to tell you for no special reason. I thought you ought to know that I love you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God said, I need y'all when you're excited. When you wake up in the morning, tell God I'm excited because you woke me up. Oh, hallelujah. That's why I tell y'all, I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I got Jesus. Hallelujah. When I look out and see what people are doing, I'm glad I got Jesus. Hallelujah. When I feel my troubles coming on, I'm glad I got Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For no special reason. For no special reason. Hallelujah. Just thought you ought to know that I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What verse was that? 19. Verse 20 said what? Giving thanks, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Give thanks always. He didn't say give thanks because you got something. Give thanks always. Hallelujah. I got trouble. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I needed that pain. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I needed that ache. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I needed somebody to talk about me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I need your encouragement. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the test and trial. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the money I have. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the money I don't have. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the friends I have. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the friends I don't have. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 I have no other thing to say, but thank you, Lord Jesus. Read it again. Giving thanks all way for all things under God. Listen, hallelujah. Stop finding fault. There ain't no fault in life. I wish we could get that. There ain't no faults in your life. There ain't no problems in your life. There is no obstacles in your life. Everything that's in your life is beneficial. Everything that's in our life is, we need it. Oh, hallelujah. I, listen, get the message today. Everything that's happening to you is for your benefit. We so used to, if I get some material thing, we think that's the only benefit. If I get some money, that's for my benefit. Being broke today is for your benefit. Right. Oh, hallelujah, Lord, help them to understand. Listen, hallelujah, the pain you're going through right now is for your benefit. Yeah. The suffering you're going through right now is for your benefit. Hallelujah. And God said, you better thank me for it. You better thank me because your eyes are bad, John. You better thank me because you better thank me hallelujah that the desire for sex is gone you better oh hallelujah you better thank me 
Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But you say, I don't see the benefit. That's all right. You say you love me. It's for your good. Whether you see it or not. And I want you to give me thanks. Read that again. Hallelujah. He said what? Giving thanks always for all. All things. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Giving thanks. But you don't thank God. You say, well, I don't see why the Lord let me go. That's complaining. He said, if you're afflicted, talk to me. Don't complain. If you're afflicted, why don't you come and ask me what's going on? If you're afflicted, why don't you ask me, why did I do that? Oh, hallelujah. If I make your kids sick, ask me, why did I do it? If I, if I kill them, ask me, why did I do it? Don't complain. Don't murmur. Don't go around saying this happened to me and ain't nobody else. Listen, you ain't nobody else. You are who you are and you need what you need. I don't need what you need. You need what you need. I need what I need. Oh, hallelujah. So I'm thanking God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Well, I lost my loved one. That's what you need. Hallelujah. That's right. I lost my job. That's what you need. So you better thank God for it. Oh, hallelujah. And all things. And I'm about, if, it, if it's getting on my nerves, I'm going to pray. And if I'm excited about it, I'm going to sing unto the Lord. I'm going to make melody in my own heart as unto the Lord. I'm going to give him praise. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you praise for not being able to pay my rent. I'm going to give you praise. I got this wife. I'm going to give you praise because I got this husband. I'm going to give you praise because I got to work hard. I'm going to give you praise when my car ain't running right. I'm going to give you praise when somebody steals something from. I'm going to give you praise when I get a blessing from nowhere. I'm going to give you praise when my head hurt. I'm going to give you praise when my back hurt. I'm going to give when I find a hundred dollars. I'm going to give you praise when I lose a hundred dollars. I'm going to give you praise I'm going to give you praise when my kids obey. I'm going to in all things i'm gonna give you praise i'm gonna praise your name lord oh hallelujah thank you jesus in all things i'm gonna do all things and i'm gonna do it through the name of jesus hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to give you praise. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you praise no matter what. I'm going to exalt your name. Hallelujah. And when it get on my nerve, I'm going to thank you, but I'm going to talk to you. Hallelujah. When I'm afflicted, I'm going to say, Lord, what must I from this? What am I supposed to? Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I want to know, Lord, what am I supposed to gain from this? Nevertheless, not my will. Thy will be done. I'm going to give you praise. There's nothing going to come upon me that I ain't going to thank you for. Right. Everything that comes upon me, I'm going to praise your name for it. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. When you learn how to praise God for everything you go through, you won't complain. When you learn how to praise God, whatever come upon you, you will learn how to grow in Christ. When you learn how to praise God, you will find out no weapon formed against you going to prosper. When you learn how to, oh, hallelujah, no matter what you go through, you still in your right mind oh hallelujah some of y'all done went through stuff you ought to be crazy we ought to be out of our ever loving mind but I'm thanking God because I went through that I can think better now because I had that problem I can think clearer now because you brought me out I can see now where I went wrong yet hallelujah because you brought me out I can know how to not get back in that situation again because you've sustained me oh hallelujah Thank you, Lord. hallelujah so I'm going to give you some praise. I'm going to exalt you for it. I'm going to lift you up. I'm not going to complain no more. So if I got any problems, I know what to do. I know what to do now. Come on. Acts chapter 16. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Listen, God is trying to move us up. God is really trying to move us up, y'all. I wish y'all could see what I see. But I'm going I'm to I'm preach to you till you see it the way I see it. Oh, hallelujah. And hallelujah. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure you begin to see what God is showing us he let me know John and y'all getting ready to go to another level hallelujah you keep on fasting you keep on praying hallelujah so when you get there you already know what's going on hallelujah so you won't get caught off God hallelujah thank you you got to praise me and everything that's the only way I can move you where you're trying to get to John you're bugging me about getting you somewhere I'm gonna get you there but you got to understand you got to praise me and everything hallelujah you can't get what you want until I give you what you need 
Say that again. You can't get what I want, John, until I give you what you need. Listen, y'all can't get what you want in God until y'all accept what you need. Oh, oh, hallelujah. You don't accept what you need. You just know what you want. Hallelujah. In order to get what you want, you got to go through everything that you need first. Hallelujah. Thinking you're trying to get to somewhere without having the necessary tool to attain or be uh, stay there when you get there. In order to get high in God, you got to learn to be low in God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank. In order to get high in God, you got to go through the valley. In order to be prosperous in God, you got to know what it feels like to have nothing. In, all, in order to rejoice in God, you got to know what it feels like when God, when you feel like God that left you. In order to get, in order to be raised up, you must become low. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Come on. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 16. You got it? Let's start at verse 25. Hallelujah. 23. Yep, we're going back for us. Verse 19. You, you like that one? Maybe you want to come preach? Come on. <laughs> come on. Verse 19. He said, Well, and when her majesty saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the masters, saying, These men being Jews do exceedingly. Oh, hallelujah. You got that. We talking about we want to upset the world. We got to make folks mad in order to upset them. Hallelujah. You don't upset nobody without making them mad first. How you going to make them mad? I got to get close to God. Uh, when I get close to God, hallelujah. Well, how do you get close to God? Stop sinning. How do you stop sinning? You stop worrying about self. When you stop worrying about self, you stop sinning. When you stop sinning, you get close to God. When you get close to God, you get in trouble with man. Oh, hallelujah. When you stay calm and you're peaceful with man, you are not a friend of God. He said, if you're a friend of the world, you are my enemy. Oh, hallelujah. You want to be a friend of God? Then you got to become the world's enemy. Listen, I ain't talking about the system. I'm talking about you got to become man enemy in order to become a friend of God. That's right, right. God said, y'all want to upset the city? Y'all want to turn this world upside down, John? Well, I got to get folks talking about you. I got to get folks mad. I got to show you how you get things changed. Other folk get upset. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. What verse? He said, and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You got the church of apostolicity teaching women to get out of pants. That ain't custom. Women can wear pants. We got kind of pants for all made for women. When y'all custom y'all are upsetting folks when you tell men if the marriage don't work you're upsetting our custom when you tell folk they can't get a divorce you're upsetting our custom john you gotta teach things that upset man raw upset man custom can you say i said it yes because i did oh hallelujah but y'all got to say thing listen when you tell braid the hair you're upsetting custom listen it's millions of dollars in braided hair it's millions of dollars being sold to women for fake hair when you tell a woman she can't wear fake hair john you're upsetting the custom you're upsetting people hallelujah all over listen you gotta teach things that the world don't teach how you gonna do that i'm gonna get close to god and whatever God tell me to say, that I will say. Oh, hallelujah. I can go on and on, but I'm trying to show you something. Hallelujah. When you tell a man he lazy and he don't work, he lazy. He ain't fit for nothing. You're upsetting custom. When you tell a man that don't take care of his wife, right? Listen, I don't hear their prayer. You're upsetting custom. Hallelujah. People don't want to hear that. Like right, God hears me. You're a lie. The Bible said that if you don't treat her right, hallelujah, I don't hear nothing you say. You're upsetting customs, John. Hallelujah. When you tell a man he can't have no attributes of a woman, you're upsetting customs. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When you tell anybody, I don't care who they are and what they're right, when they break the laws of God, you're going to hell. You're upsetting customs. Oh, hallelujah. Y'all ready to upset customs? Y'all talking about you want to do right. You're talking about you want to turn this world upside down. You got to upset the world customs. When you do that, 
And when they get on your nerves and when they threaten you, he said, I know you're afflicted. Come and pray. Hallelujah. I know they get on your nerves, John. And I know sometimes you're afraid. Come and pray. But when you feel good, come and pray. Hallelujah. He said the devil is raging war in war rather against the church of apostolicity he said y'all better bow your back and get ready y'all gonna fast and get close to me you better get ready to deal with what comes with that listen listen the enemy comes at you hard when you get close to God he gotta turn you around Oh, hallelujah. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, he's talking to us today. Come on, verse 21. He said, well, and teach custom, which are not lawful for us to receive. That we ain't, listen, he, notice what he's saying. Custom, that it ain't lawful for us to receive. Not that they wrong. We don't want to do them. If we do this, then we got to get to the point. If I, if, if, if listen, if, 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 if John Portis keep teaching that homosexuality is a sin, listen, then it's going to interfere with the laws of the land when we're talking about human rights. Right. What, 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 that, what that law that they use in the courts? Oh, y'all. Not the Bill of Rights. Come on. What is it? Oh, y'all just as worse as I am. At least I'm preaching. I got something else on my mind. Y'all can't. Y'all can't. The Constitution. That's what I'm trying to think of. He said, when you go to saying that they ain't got no right to sleep a man with a man, that's their constitutional right. And I say, that's our constitutional lie. That's upset customs. Amen. You can't say that on TV. Because you're upsetting the Constitution. You're upsetting the custom. Listen, you're going to hell if you do it. Yeah. You're judging. That's it. Listen, it ain't lawful, but this ain't lawful for us to receive that kind of preaching. Not that it ain't right. It ain't lawful. Amen. Oh, y'all gonna get it in a minute. I gotta upset the customs. Y'all got to upset the custom. Somebody say, don't record that. Put minds on the internet. I want to upset the world. I want to turn the world upside down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If women with women, you're going to hell. Hallelujah. If you're a liar, you're going to hell. You better repent and change the way you live. You better turn your back on sin. Because if you don't, you are going to hell. I'm going to upset customs. Do y'all get? He said it's not lawful for us to receive. But it's right. But if we receive it, we're going to change the laws of man. Oh, hallelujah. No, 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 no. I'm going to follow the law of God. Hallelujah. That's why I love this passage of scripture. Come on. I could preach all day on this one. Come on. He say, to observe being Romans. That lets you know, it ain't that it's wrong. We are Romans. We got another law. The Romans wasn't Jews gotta understand that they were gentiles so they saying you trying to make a gentile nation follow a righteous nation so when you get the same thing that other folk don't want to go by you are trying to make sinners act like saints and we don't receive that kind of stuff we think everybody going to heaven oh hallelujah come on i can't stay there too long come on verse 22 he said what and the multitude rose up together against them and the mattress rent off their clothes and commanded beat them, beat them. oh hallelujah i'm waiting for somebody to say beat me i'm waiting i'm i'm, I'm looking forward to the day i got to stand before a judge I would love to stand before a judge and say, listen, you can do whatever you want. In the meantime, if you're living like a demon, you're going to hell. You think I care? Lock me up. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to turn this world. Listen, for somebody to say that before a judge and willing to go to jail, uh, don't you know that's going to turn this world upside down? They're going to say, that brother is saved. I want to know how to get to his church because he don't care what nobody say. Listen, one thing about everybody know that homosexuality is wrong. You can try to make it right all you want to. Everybody know that lying is dangerous because they tell how you swear to tell the whole truth nothing but the truth so help you God cause you can send somebody to hell and send somebody to jail for something they didn't do you make sure you are honest yeah. I want to upset the cops That's right. yeah. and if I get in trouble if I get in trouble I know what to do 
Come on. Hallelujah. I feel like shouting. If I get in trouble, I know what to do. Because he said, if any afflicted, let him talk to God. And if you're happy, songs. Ain't that what he said? So I want to. I'm looking forward to it. Because I got the answer to my problem already. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. What verse we at? Now he said, beat them, beat them, beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging a jailer. Put them in prison saying, don't you better not let them get out of there. Don't you let them out. I don't care what happened. You keep them locked in them stocks. You keep them locked up, foot, hand, everything. Put their neck in something. Don't let them out of here. They causing too much trouble. Listen, listen, I hope y'all get with God. I, I, I'm, I'm way ahead of myself in my brain. I'm trying to slow down. Listen, listen, y'all better trust in God. We talking about what we do. Don't y'all know all this fasting ain't going to go to waste. Hallelujah. All this praying ain't going to go to waste. When God busts out, he going to bust out big time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But we going to upset folks. We going to upset folks. We are the prepare preparer of the breach. Didn't I preach that some time ago? We are the preparer. And I say we, I really mean church of apostolicity. We're going to fix a lot of problems in this world. And it ain't going to be fixed in the sense folks going to listen. It's going to be fixed that ain't nobody going to be able to say, I didn't know. Hallelujah. So I need good people to stand behind me. You can't be afraid. Amen. You call me and say, Pastor, I lost my job because I was preaching Jesus. Listen, hallelujah, we're going to shout. We're going to sing songs. And then when you get home and get afraid because you ain't got no money, then you're going to pray and talk to God because that's an affliction. But it's going to be all right. Hallelujah. No weapon form. If they tried to make you broke, but God said, I'm going to only let you get so broke. They tried to put you in a bind. He said, I'm only going to let it hold you so long. Cast them in the prison and lock them up. After they beat them. Double trouble, ain't it? Beat them. See, beat ain't like what we think, y'all. Back then, when they beat folks, they beat them like they beat Jesus. They just didn't beat them as long as they beat Jesus. Y'all need to know that. Amen. Back then when they said beat, they stripped you. They, why do why, why you think the whips came along? Because back then, that's all they had was whips. Amen. 